Charlie, so the VGMAs released the nominees and the category list for this year's VGMA Awards. And I think I can honestly say the competition has never been tighter as it is this year. I mean, the people, the artists in this category, and the amount of songs and the albums and the quality of it that was released in the year in retrospective. Charlie, this year will be something. But before the DD, let's do some prediction. Let's weigh some options and see, you know, yes, when Sony has one, Sanya, who the mood do. Starting off with the best Afrobeat song of the year category. And there's six people in this category, six artists nominated, or should I say seven, if you are counting a group. Starting off with Kamido with the Sugar Cane remix featuring uh, Kim Promise and Mayu Kun. Jackie with something, Kid with champagne. DJ with Balance It can promise with Ginger and FBS featuring Mr. Drew with Joe. And I mean, if I was to pick one out of these six options that is gonna win, I think it would be, I mean, hands down, Camille or Sugar Cane remix. I mean, the original itself was a massive hit. Featuring Mayukun and Queen Promise on the second one took it like continental or subcontinental. The remix of Sugar King became like one of the biggest songs in West Africa, at least in Nigeria and Ghana respectively. So I think hands down it's gonna go to them and if there was a song that's gonna, you know, compete with them equally or might stand a chance beating them, I think it would be Jackie something. It was equally a massive hit but I don't think it was as much as a bigger hit as you know the remix of sugar cane but actually you know the team with vote base what is it 40 percent vote base and 60 percent um, decision from the academy or whatever they call it at vgmas so you never know but if i was to pick and it's not just my pick i mean i think it's the pick of a lot of people on social media too i've been checking some of the comments some of the tweets and a lot of people seem to think Camido is gonna win this hands down myself included because you know the song among the others on the category list it really did well jackie will come in second close second to sugar cane and if i was to pick a third option i would say maybe dj's balance it um and then maybe kim promises ginger and then kitty honestly i didn't even know fbs and mr juju had a song i did not even know fbs made a comeback honestly <laughs> even know that so I, I don't think they are gonna win or anything not just because i did not know they made a comeback they just they are not beating jackie or camido or kitty dj and can promise for that matter no shades the next category the best gospel song of the year probably the least or my least favorite category because i'm not really a gospel type of person and i'm not really an expert but the people in this category are you know The 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards Best Gospel Song The nominees are Final Say Celestine Donko Wayemi Ye Piercy Esther My Meditation Dinah Hamilton Kadosh Joe Metal Hewale Lala Perez Music Take me, take me. Bethel Revival Choir featuring Edwin Datsun. This far, Irabina. Mala, MOG Music. Unlike the best Afrobeat song category, this category consists of eight people instead of six, like the best Afrobeat category. And again, I'm not an expert, but you know, just from observing, if I was to pick anybody who stand a chance of winning, I think it's gonna be the usual Diana Hamilton, um, Joe Metal, and PSA Esther. Like, she arguably had the biggest song, the YMEA song, yeah, in retrospective, was the one of the biggest gospel songs. I mean, among the other seven, for me, it was the biggest. And again, I'm not even like a regular gospel listener. But I hear it all the time. So if I was to pick a song that I think is gonna win, it definitely is gonna be PACS Test YME. But somehow I have a feeling it's gonna be the usual Diana Hamilton or Joe Metal affair or probably MOG music. But you know, I hope but you know I I honestly hope it goes to PACS. I mean that woman has been paying her dues. Even I know that. I mean it's about time she gets some shine, especially when she's putting the work. The song was massive. 
So if I was to pick somebody that was gonna win, I'll say it's PCS this way, me. But again, I think it's gonna go to Dana Hamilton or you know the other guy, Joe Metal, because because I think somebody high up there at VGMA really like them, Dana Hamilton and Joe Metal or Ghanaians really like them. I mean, they you remember the controversy when Joe Metal won at Tease of the Year? Like nobody saw that coming. So you know, you never know. You never know. PSS that had the biggest song gospel wise last year or the year in retrospective. But uh, I think it's gonna go to either Diana Hamilton or Joe Metal. Moving on to the next category is the best hip life song category, which takes us back right back to six nominees like the best Afrobeat songs, and they are. Bombay. The 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. Best Hip Life Song. The nominees are Friday Night, Last Minute, Stubborn Academy, Medical, Anajo, J Bab, Abonting, DJ Breezy, featuring Chrissy Arthur, Mugis, Stone Boy, Black Sheriff, Grace. Amirado, featuring Last Minute, Ewiasi, Kweku Flick. I'm going to do this different from the lowest to the highest. Those songs or the person or the artist that I think don't stand a chance of winning in this category. And unfortunately for me, that person is Kweku Flick and Amirado with Grace. I mean, Amirado... Again, not to you know shade or sound disrespectful or undermine or underplay anybody's efforts, but honestly, as far as Grace is concerned, I thought one of his this songs. Well, I mean, I guess it's not hip life, but I, I, popularity wise or success wise, his this songs to Lyrical Joe was more successful than the album itself. I'm not trying to be mean. This not even like a, I guess it's a controversial take, but honestly. As somebody who made reaction videos to those songs and followed the momentum it led to the album release and everything, the shade and the beef songs you know, did way better than Grace and the songs on the album. So I don't think it stands a chance against songs, other songs on this list. Quirku Flix, Iriasi 2. So I think those two are gonna be the bottom two. I mean, it's not they are not gonna give us the list of songs that did worst to best. Just the winner. We are just gonna know the winner, but. Honestly, if they had like the spreadsheet in my hand, I think the least favorite song or the song that is gonna record fewer or lesser votes is gonna be the Quirko Flix, Iviasi, and Amrado's Grace Future Last Mead. Speaking of Last Mead, he's the guy who's gonna win this category hands down. Like, as far as Best Hip Life song is concerned, Friday was the shit. It simply was, Friday was everywhere. Friday nights became what's called like an earworm, you know. And you might want to man a ball or some mutua or your wife, baby. I was wiping you or crying. That vibes in the song, and it took the song way too far than I thought it was gonna go. Along with the TikTok and the challenges and everything, Friday nights was huge. If there was gonna be a contender to Friday night, I think it's gonna be. Like Medicars, Stubborn Academy was huge too. J Bad's Anajo was big. And DJ Breezy's Abontin was equally big. But I think the biggest contender to Friday night would have been Stubborn Academy. It was huge too. It even became a catchphrase in Parliament in us refusing to register our same. Everything became it became a slogan in itself. So if there was a song that stand a chance to last mate Friday night. For me, it simply is Stubborn Academy. But honestly, I think it's going to go to Last Meet. Hopefully, it does go to him because, you know, he falls and he it's his time to shine, I think. So, I think Last Meet is going to pick this award hands down. Stubborn Academy is going to put up some fights. And also, DJ Breezy's song. I mean, the amount of people on that feature and their fan base might, you know, put in some elbow grease on my humble vote to be the amount. So, that might be something there there might be something there that might stand a chance to contend because i think artists or the you know massive artists on that song uh their fan base will probably push the song ahead but 
for me, I think Friday night deserves to win this category hands down, and it's gonna win. And I'm not even like a big fan of the song, but Charlie, it, it was massive, and that's on fact. In best high life song, again with six nominations. The 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards Best High Life Song. The nominees are Atsia Episode featuring Kwabina Kwabina, My Proposal, AK Songstress, Adedede Adina, Adam Kwesi Arthur. Down flat, Calvin Boy. I fall for you, down flat. Have mercy, Kofi Kinata. Best high life song. I mean, I didn't even know Kelvin's voice. Down flat was high life. Isn't it Afro beats? Tell you, make I know. I think down flat was Afro beats, right? I mean, that's what I thought. But apparently, it is high life. And if it is, and it's being nominated for this category, I mean, this category is gonna win hands down. Down flat was the ace when it came out for months. It came along with its TikTok challenge, its own dance and everything. The song was massive. It was just massive and not a single song. In this category stands a chance against Calvin's voice down flat. Episodes at Tia Future Kwabna Kwabna was beautiful. It was beautiful, but I don't think it stands a chance popularity wise or you know like i mean this is a popularity contest it's gonna go down to voting and all of that so i just think kelvin boy is gonna take this one hands down kofi kinates mercy kwesiates adum ak songstress my proposal and adines are the dead there i mean no offense but they've got nothing on kelvin boys down flat if there was a contender it's gonna be episodes at tia but I don't think it's even stand a chance again the massive hits down flat was so down flat in this category so down flat for me is gonna take the best high life song of the year category hands down Charlie as you do watch let me know what you think of all these categories if you think I'm wrong which one of these artists or songs and the various categories you think is gonna win drop a comment let me know Charlie let me know moving on the best hip-hop song of the year um, uh, the 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards Best Hip Hop Song The nominees are Kweku the Traveler, Black Sheriff Countryside, Sarkwadia featuring Black Sheriff Obiabwa, Amarado Benzo, Malcolm Nuna Drama Kwesi Arthur, featuring Big Homie Flea, Scarface, Medical. So from the lowest to the highest, no shades, but Scarface was kind of a flop. Scarface was a flop. It just was. Interesting enough, it's like they've lined them up. I mean, from lowest to bottom, Kwesi Arthur comes next after Medical, Scarface, Kwesi Arthur's song. Or maybe Malcolm known as um, Benzo. I didn't even know that he died. I mean, it wasn't that big. And interesting enough, they've placed the top songs on the first three row. Or is it column? This shit always confuses me. Anyway, the, <laughs> the top three songs are out there. Black Sherry Square with the Traveler, Amrados, Obiabwa, and Sarko, the featuring Black Sherry with Countryside. There's no contest here. There's no argument here that Square with the Traveler, Black Sherry is going to take this hands down. If your song stands the chance to rub shoulders against Kweku the Traveler, it will be Black Sheriff's own doing, which is Countryside Fusion Sakodi or Sakodi Fusion Black Sheriff. You know, followed by Amradus Ubiabwa, but I think Black Sheriff is gonna take it. But imagine, imagine Sakodi takes this song, takes this category, takes this award because of Black Sheriff's help on Countryside. <laughs> that would be funny. But if I was to predict who is going to win this category, hands down, this is probably one of the few categories that I don't think that there's going to be any contest. Black Sheriff is hands down taking this home. Moving on, best rap performance, Medical with Scarface, Strongman with Gochet, Amrado with Ubiabwa, T-Flow, 
and Lyrica Joe with Fifth August Six. Okay, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Honestly, I think it's gonna be between Lyrica Joe and Amrado. <laughs> Interesting enough, the two artists with the rap beef in the year in retrospective. I think the best rap performance is gonna go to either artist in this category. Scarface, I get no shade, but I mean, it was a flop. Strongman's goated, good, and T flows. Again, I didn't even know about that one. No shades, but I did not even know. I think it's gonna be between Amrado with Ubiaboa and FIFA forget six T Lyrical Joes. And it's interesting, it's interesting because whoever one of them I again I think one of them is gonna pick it up. And whoever one of them picks it up, it might rejuvenate their dead or hibernating beef. Me, 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 me Pandy, I think some one of them is gonna take it. As far as this goes, this year on the rap side of the things now, it be lyrical to you know Amrado, so it's gonna go to one of them, I think. It could be interesting. And finally, it might be the decider in which one among them is the best. After all, the category is called best rap performance. Moving on, people, best male vocal performance, best male vocal performance. Um, uh, the 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards Best Male Vocal Performance The nominees are Waitin, Kamido Nothing is too hard Che Mensa Hewalelala Perez Music Run to You King Promise to see a gospel musician in this category i think it's true actually with chain mensa too i think nothing is too hard is also a gospel song and it's interesting that the gospel artist who made this who made it into this best male vocal performance uh, is not joe metal I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that joe metal isn't the gospel artist in this category not because i think necessarily that he deserves to be in there because i personally feel that they try to put him in places maybe it's just me you know yes in a you know the whole artist of the year and all of that but i think he i'm gonna stop ranting before it, it sounds like i'm trying to offend or anything but yeah i'm surprised he's not in here since there are gospel musicians in there and if i was to pick somebody who's gonna win this category it's gonna go down to well, I don't really know who is gonna go down to. I think it's gonna be between the three circular musicians on here with Kim Promise, Stoneboy, and Kamido. I think it's gonna go to either one of them. But if I was to pick one, if you were to like force me to pick one, I think it's gonna be Stoneboy with Therapy. But I don't really know. Heck, VGM might even surprise us with by giving it to one of the gospel musicians on there. It might happen. You will never know. It might happen. So yeah, another tough category that I can't really pinpoint or say confidently that it's going to go to this person or that person. So yeah, moving on. Best female vocal performance. This category is choked. The 24th Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. Best female vocal performance. The nominees are Wayemi Ye, PSA Esther. God of Wonders, Enuanyam, Nothing is Too Hard, Niela, Shika, Abiana, Beginning Again, Adoma, Waiting, Sina Soul. This is tough. I mean, it's interesting to see Abiana here. Interesting. Are you a rapper, singer? Lisa, singer. Singer. Okay, let's hear you. Girls, girls wanna have fun. Try the ass back, machine gun, 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 I think PSCS that I mean, don't 
not to confuse best vocal performance with you know like popularity or anything best vocal performance but anyway this comes down to votes again i think the percentage is 40 percent votes and 60 percent the academy or whatever so it's still it's gonna be a matter of popularity contest if you leave it up to voters to you know vote fan base to vote and popularity wise i think pcs star Sina so one of them is gonna go to honestly it's gonna go to pcs star or Sina so Sally, that's it for now i'm gonna do another video hopefully i get the time to do another video on the other categories but for now this is it for now anything you think about what i think about who is gonna win or who is not gonna win or whose song was you know a flop good bad etc leave a comment tell it make i know what you think i mean leave a like if you want to see more from me subscribe and catch you later